Hey, what's up guys, Boss Like here with another Gnome Suit tutorial, and today we're going to be making Full Throttle Track, which is made by Premier Rides, and we're going to be using this Rocket Coaster design here, with the double spine, as well as the X-Car uh, track style here. So, let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So, this is actually two coasters put together, so to get these X-Cars on top of the uh, Rocket Coaster track, all you have to do is... Uh, make your coaster first. I made this coaster in like 20 minutes for this tutorial, but um, so it's not gonna relate anything to premium rides or anything like that. But um, go ahead and make your coaster, and then uh, import your coaster using import coaster, and then import your coaster in the exact same part. Go ahead and overlay it, make the entire coaster invisible, and go to your main coaster, which is going to be using for the track, which is this, and go to trains and make sure the trains are on zero. So you should have the X car um, trains here on top of your rocket coaster. So once you're done with that, let me go ahead and freeze it. All right, so full throttle track has this gap filled in here as it does not on the rocket coaster. So we're gonna be using this track as the base and then we're gonna go ahead and fill this gap in with the light padding creator under the advanced tab here. So go ahead and locate yourself to the advanced tab and go to light padding creator. And you should see here, this is where you'll create your own SEO objects. So these are the, this, the stock textures here that already come with it. So go ahead and go to Google and pick out a texture that you want for your coaster. So right now I wanted to do the same color as the track. So I went and grabbed a white color texture, plain white. And we're gonna go ahead and fill these in here. Now this is the same way or the same method you used to create the RMC uh, rails as well. So I should be doing a tutorial on that pretty soon. So um, go ahead and click here. Now I put two textures in red and white. So I'm gonna use white for now. Let's go ahead and Fill these in here. All right. Now for the custom settings, you're going to want to go to the scene object here and go ahead and check generate SEO. Leave all this alone for now. Uh, skip tiling, go to width, make that 0.375. Go to height, make that 0.5. Offset, X offset, make it zero because the uh, X offset is going this way across. So we don't want that. We want to go up and down. So Y offset. Let's make that negative 0.7. And let's go ahead and check in top and bottom. And go ahead and change the prefix to filler. So I'm just, you can use any prefix you want. I'm just gonna use that for now. So remember we changed the textures here. Make sure you have these settings here. And go ahead and change the prefix to whatever you want. And go ahead and press generate. And make sure you have it in your right file here. So locate your you locate your park file um, under com.nolums to coaster and put it in the tutorial CT. And by the way, um, to get your textures in here, the same method, method as before, go ahead and copy the texture into your park file, just like usual. All right, so once you're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out now. And we're gonna go to scenery, go to choose object, and go to park base here, and you should see filler SEO here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press OK, go to add object, and I'm gonna add the object right here, all right? All right, in the light pattern creator, you might have to change this to zero, negative 0 0.5. It um, just depends. Sometimes it's a little too high, sometimes a little too low. But uh, let's go ahead and zero this out now. So when you change the X, Y, and Z coordinates to zero, this will center it back on the track. So let's press that, and press apply. And you should see that we have our full throttle track. All right, so we're not quite done yet from here. So we want to make this reflective to match the rest of the track. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is the same method I used to uh, make my RMC track reflective on Jackal. A lot of you guys had questions on that, so I will be showing you guys that now. So, to get this reflective, you, this is basically when you generate the SEO, it creates its own map file. So, we're going to change that. So, go ahead and go to Scenery, and you see this NL2 Matte Editor. So, we're going to go ahead and open that up. We're going to go open. Now, you see this is called Filler Matte. Now, this was the automatic matte file that, that came with the SEO object when we created it. So we're gonna go ahead and edit this. So press OK. All right, now first for the footstep sounds, we're gonna make it the metal noise. So we're gonna go to footsteps, go to metal, and hold down control and click all of these. Press OK. Now this will give it the uh, metal sound when we walk on it. Let's go down to basic, and let's go to override glossiness. Put this at 100. Go to, you can skip RGB, alpha, skip that for now. Let's go to textures, go to texture unit, with this checkbox here, go to setup, go to mode, and go to bump mode using normal map. Click check that in. Go to TC and go to reflection 3D. Press OK. And then go to reflections. Go to faked reflections. Go to replace alpha and with reflection strength. Check that in. 
and press save. Alright, so once you've got that done, we're going to go ahead and edit the SEO object now. So let's go to uh, an NL2 SEO editor, click on that, go open, and open filler, the first one. And you're going to go ahead and go to, you're going to start off in general, so go ahead and click on the materials tab here. Click on the previous mat, press remove, press add, and just go ahead and fill this in right now. There we go, let's go to NL2 mat, and we're going to load the mat that we just edited. So I'll click on this here, press OK and press OK there and then press save as we're going to name it filler uh, just add a 2 on the end press save there we go and when we save it and exit out let's go to choose and go to your second one that we just edited that we just made in the SEO editor press OK press add object and you should see that it should have reflection on it alright so you see this metal texture here you might be able to see it with the clouds there but that makes it look reflect reflective compared to this previous one here that's just matte. So hopefully you guys can see that with the recording. But um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and delete this old one here. Alright, so let's go ahead and add this reflective one here. So same step as before. Make this 0, 0, and 0. Press apply. And there you go. So as you can see here, we should have this really nice flush uh, track here. And it's reflective to match the track. Now you could change the colors of this. So if I want to make a new one real quick, let's go to Advanced, Light Pattern Creator, and go and change the texture here. So I'll make this this red here. There we go. And make it red. And we're going to go ahead and and then we have to change the prefix to red text. There we go. And press Generate, Select. There we go. Let's go ahead and move this one out of the way for now. And we're gonna go ahead and add the red one. So let's go to your scenery, same step as before. Go to choose, and we go to red text here, and press add object. Now you see it's red. So let's go ahead and zero this out now. So we're gonna zero, zero, and zero. All right, here we go. So we can see we have the red filler track now. So have this white here, and to make it reflective, this uses the same step with the mat. So go ahead and add this object to the mat file, and then go ahead and edit the object mat to reflective so yeah so in this you can change the texture to make it any color you want and you can also it doesn't have to be a solid color either so it could be uh, any kind of shape or stripes or anything like that on the sides and yeah so I'm going to go ahead and move this now and add this one back so 0 0 and 0 press apply and there we go so one more time here's the settings for this track here it looks really nice I think it looks pretty good so yeah and hopefully the reflective tip helped you guys. So if you guys want to make your SEO objects reflective, there you go. All right, so I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you guys want to see more tutorials, let me know. If you guys have any suggestions for tutorials, let me know. If you also have any suggestions for the support team pack, let me know on that. I decided to delay a little bit more uh, to add. I'm gonna probably hopefully double the amount of stuff. I had 32 items in the last one, so I'm trying to go for 60 this time. So it should be a big update for you guys. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more.